it is a sign of love of allah because allah loves his deen very much to whomever he loves he gives the tawfiq of following deen he gives the understanding of deen and allah rabbul izzat makes makes him move around and gives him hidayah and allah rabbul izzat makes him a means of hidayah makes him a w- means w- of hidayah w- www.atablik.com the so revival of iman we should be thankful to allah that he has brought us to attend this job once allah gives an opportunity we should try to utilize fully try to utilize the time we have brought and the money we have spent to come over here inshallah we should try to utilize it in the fullest manner that is our on our part that's what we give thanks to allah not only listening but try to understand what is being said because listen then understand it and to bring it into our life give daawat give daawat that is the procedure that is the procedure to bring something into our heart listen carefully try to understand it fully and bring it into our heart and if you want to bring it into our life convey it to others give daawat allahu akbar that is the the haq the right of understanding that is the right of understanding just to listen and leave it is not enough the bayan was very good it's not enough we have to understand allah will give us tawfiq inshallah to understand and to bring it into our heart and convey it to others and bring it in the form of amal respected elders and brothers allah through nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave us a complete deen complete in every respect and every aspect and very easy deen easy easy to follow but not for everyone not for everyone whoever has learnt it whoever is trying to learn it for him the deen will be easy as far as world is concerned we want to learn something maybe it's a driving maybe it's swimming we have to learn it we can't do it without learning without getting into the water we can't learn swimming without getting into the wheel of a car we can't learn driving as far as world is concerned so deen is easy only for whom allah has given him understanding that we have to give some time spend money to learn it learn it once we learn it becomes very easy but though those who don't have the inclination to learn the easy deen will become difficult for them getting into tahajjud difficult getting for the fajr prayer early morning will be a burden will be a burden easy things will become difficult because this muslim brother has not given time to learn so respected elders and brothers and how far we have to learn is it any time bound we have to learn until death until mouth keep learning keep on learning allah akbar keep learning and keep bringing into our life this will go until the last breath the last breath so respected elders and brothers allah rabbul izzat for this work of dawa allah akbar he selects just now he's just as we know he has selected the anbiya alai salam for this noble work 
Allah has selected us also. Allahu Akbar. So first selection. As far as world is concerned, you know, when you want to apply for a job, whether it is a government job or a private job in a private company, they ask for qualification. They ask for experience. Then they will conduct some test, etc. But Allah Rabbul Izzat, first he selects. Here, selection is first. Not on any basis. Whomever he loves, Allah Akbar, he selects. Then afterwards, he makes him move around. Allah gives him tawfiq to move around. And he puts effort to bring 100% deen with 100% haqiqat. It is only Allah gives him. So first selection, then only the necessary sifat, the attributes. Allah gives, Allah Akbar. The more we do sacrifice, the more we acquire the sifat necessary for this noble work. It is not an ordinary work. It is the work of Anbiya alayhi salam. Such a noble work, myself and yourself cannot learn. But it's chilla and teen chilla. Four months chilla. It's not time bound. Allah Akbar. Keep on learning. We learn from the elders. Iman has two attributes. One is, it either goes up or comes down. When you do some amal, when you obey the commandment of Allah, when you do some amal which Allah likes, the iman obviously goes up. But when we leave it, when we disobey a commandment of Allah, it goes down. Allah. When somebody, someone commits one which Allah has forbidden, it goes down like anything. Allah Akbar. It goes down like anything. Iman is highly sensitive. Highly sensitive. A wrong look at a non mahram lady, Iman will go down. Allah Akbar. Iman will go down. Very sensitive. Very sensitive. And the second sifat is, it has no limit. It has no limit. You can put the effort until the last breath, like Sahaba Rasulullah Admain, after their iman was like a mountain, strong like a mountain, deep like an ocean, Allah Akbar. Still they were not satisfied. Still they were afraid. Whether I, have, whether I have discharged my duties prescribed by Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they were afraid. So this effort of Iman, dear elders and brothers, it has to be constantly and continuously done. It is my zimadari. By that I mean a responsibility entrusted by Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on every ummati. Every ummati is a responsible person. And what is the responsibility? The responsibility is first to bring mukammal deen, complete deen, 100% deen into my life with 100% reality, haqiqat. This is the top priority. How sweet is the dawat of Allah? He gives you everything and he tells us to make your akhra. Allahu Akbar. Nothing is ours. Whatever we possess in the form of asbab, in the form of house or vehicle, whatever we have, it is entrusted by Allah for some work to discharge some responsibility. And this is the responsibility. Next, we have to take care of our wife and children, our family. Save them from the hellfire. Allah says, it is the commandment of Allah. 
next we have to save the entire ummah we should have concern about the whole ummah no one should enter into the hell fire so only for this allah has given the asbab the material things we possess it is given by allah and to discharge some responsibility doesn't mean that we cannot use it for our necessities we can use it but there is a limit there is a bound for it you can't use it to fulfill your wish to fulfill your desire uh, even to spend it even to spend it for necessities we have to give account eat and drink but don't waste allah allah rabbul izzat says there is a limit for it there is a limit but if we spend it to fulfill our desire we are going beyond the limit definitely we will be questioned because that was not the purpose for which allah has given allah has permitted us to fulfill the necessities also but there is a limit there is a bound prescribed by law law akbar and if you see the sunnah of rasul pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam we can see the bound we can understand the bound shall that doesn't mean we have to become poor that doesn't mean law but the wealth which allah has given to some less to some more nothing is wrong if it is outside the heart outside the heart it will not harm if it comes inside the heart it will harm unless the ship or the boat is on the water it will reach the destination but once the water comes in it will sink it will sink allah this heart is only for the love of allah for the fear of allah for the love of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam for ikhlas and in this heart if you bring the hubb e mal love of dunya love of mohabbat is the height of injustice it is the height of injustice so this majma again to remind because it has to be reminded akhirat is not in front of our eyes that's why we have a schedule allah akbar the makhami work the work we do it in our locality i'm not going to discuss the fire amal you are all world workers all the fire amals then when time comes you have to go in the path of allah for 40 days for four months in takhaza to foreign it's a continuous process allah akbar once we leave it the iman will go down definitely will go down no so whatever allah has given just have i had heard from elders one beautiful example a big officer is there maybe a district forest officer some high position the government gives him all the facilities house car driver arms ammunition because he occupies a high position he has to discharge his responsibility and he took the driver the car arms and ammunition he went for hunting astaghfirullah he is doing injustice he is doing injustice we have to ponder am i doing justice am i making my akhirat by the asbab which allah has bestowed upon me allahu akbar it's a big responsibility whether it is small or big allah has given asbab to everyone time and money so this continuous is a process which require our sacrifice constantly and continuously and continuously because akhirat is not in front of our eyes 
no one is to being reminded that you have to go to work tomorrow he knows he knows his responsibility i have to go i have to earn my livelihood i have to earn my bread but akhirat we have to remind the more we remind the more we are reminded that is the beauty of daawat that is the beauty of daawat allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sallallahu alaihi wasallam said i heard from the elders ulama my work is like the rain from the heavens the rain when it rains even uh, the dry land the dry land driest land there becomes there comes some greenish allah akbar just like that whoever whose whose heart is hard you know how it becomes hard because he forgets akhira he makes the purpose dunya for him the heart becomes very hard so once you give daawat to him his heart will become soft allah akbar just like a dry land becomes soft due to rain due to rain and we have to remember respected elders and brothers the daawat is is pouring water on the root of a tree once you pour water on the root of a tree the stem the branches the leaves flowers will be there fruits will come it will be sweet uh, this work is like pouring water on the on the root of the tree on the root of the tree allah akbar deen will flourish in every walk of my life so this has to be reminded constantly and continuously that's why respected elders and brothers allah has brought us so we have to utilize this opportunity sometimes allah gives us the opportunity to go in the path of allah our time and money is amanat is a trust it is it is a trust so we have come not by our own it is the love of allah who has brought us allah wants to give us something but one who is not hearing one he keeps one he keeps himself in other necessities going around moving around not listening to the bayan of elders what he will get because all of all our all of us are you know old workers we have spent lot of time we have to show to others that we are responsible that we are responsible as i told you in the beginning it is only selection first selection then allah gives the sifat umar razi allah anhu he was not fit he was unfit to graze even the camels allah has selected him from where to where he brought allah akbar the abilities the capabilities allah will give it will just boil once you put rice you know if you get if you get it heated it will boil the all the salayas will boil from where to where allah has brought because allah has given an opportunity and we have to utilize utilize in the best possible manner whenever the time is finalized this time the bayan will start there is no need of gather the sathis we should be here well before time well before time and listen to it attentively attentively that is very important attentively try to understand and try to bring into the heart but whatever you brought into the heart unless you give daawat it is difficult to come into our life daawat has such a power allah akbar to bring into our life immediately after going home or even here you can do muzakira what the elder said because every speech there will be tarjuma there will be translation from urdu to english so there is no problem law akbar
so we have to utilize the opportunity given by allah in the best possible manner allah akbar shall we do it shall you do it inshallah all the necessities we can fulfill it within the time allotted for it. time will be given time will be given because we are all human beings not angels we have necessities allah akbar try to allot some time for the necessities and come the purpose for which allah has brought us the purpose for which allah has brought us if you come in time definitely allah will make us remember the purpose for which allah has sent us in this world it is a short time allah akbar very short time very valuable very valuable who were understand the the value of this time the value of this life given by allah there is also by the tawfiq of allah there is also by the tawfiq of allah after every bayan there will be taqaza there will be tashkil as you know inshallah understanding that it is my responsibility understanding the sacrifice of sahaba rasulullah ajmain we have to make ourselves ready for the sacrifice whatever be the taqaza ready for sacrifice allah akbar because it is a short life and allah has assured allah akbar multiple times multiple times even when someone recites subhanallah once it is better than the mountain of uhud allah gives so much it makes the pan weighty once subhanallah allah akbar our effort is very less allah multiplies manifold allah akbar multiplies manifold we can't imagine we can't imagine if you do one good amal this is also an amal coming in time listening is an amal allah akbar allah rabbul izzat gives them gives reward multiplied so many times and forgives all the sins allah akbar and raises his status raises his status our effort is very less very less that's why this work demands yakin the conviction i should have full conviction that allah will give me allah's promise is true definitely he will give me this conviction this yakin will make a person move in the commandment of allah obey the commandment of allah and follow the lifestyle of rasul e pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam as we know we have no independence at all we are bound by certain rules and regulations called shariat and sunnat a muslim has no independence at all no independence whatever he does he should do it not according to his wish according to the will of allah and he can't do as he likes he has to do it muhammadur rasulullah the way shown by rasul pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah has promised because when we give daawat we used to tell about the akhira the jannat but what allah has promised in this world that also we have to remember hayatan tayyiba allah ya pure life ya life with peace and tranquility it has no connection with money with asbab if deen is there allah will give give us a very beautiful life peaceful life peaceful life whether you are living in a mansion whether you are living in a small house hut allah will give you peace and tranquility because allah's commandment of allah and the rasul e pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam sunnat has this sifat once we do it allah will rabb allah rabbul izzat will definitely give us tawfiq his love allah's love allahu akbar if allah loves someone definitely allah will give him a understanding of akhira i do this definitely allah will give me in the akhirat the reward he has akhirat in mind i should have not spoken like this immediately he will ask forgiveness 
because the door of forgiveness is open <coughs> always he has akhirat in front allah has brought me here and i will listen and i will try to increase my sacrifice allah rabbul izzat according to our niyat according to our intention allah will give us tawfiq inshallah so inshallah it is a very great opportunity that allah rabbul izzat has brought us here inshallah more will be coming and whoever come first inshallah they are the first they are awwalin allahu akbar so inshallah after the maghrib prayer inshallah there will be bayan continuously until dua inshallah make intention that i will participate in a in the full manner shall you do it inshallah allahu akbar subhanallahi wa bihamdihi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashhadu an la ilaha illa